Hindi Journalism Day is observed every year on May 30. Udant Martand was the first Hindi newspaper published in India. Around that time, India was under British dominion. Udant Martand was published in Calcutta. The date of publishing was May 30, 1826. Hindi journalism has existed in the country for around 198 years. Hindi journalism delivered the news to non-English speakers' doorsteps. It helped people access information and grow an informed opinion about things. This is the day to honor journalists who work in Hindi journalism and contribute to distributing correct information. Also on on May 30, 2024, the globe will commemorate the first ever International Day of Potato, highlighting the remarkable crop devoured by billions of people worldwide. In December 2023, the General Assembly designated May 30th as International Potato Day. This day is an occasion to highlight the potato's importance in global food security, nutrition, sustainable agriculture, and economic development. The theme for the International Day of Potato 2024 is, Harvesting Diversity, Feeding Hope. This theme highlights the importance of having a wide variety of potato types. Reliance Industries Limited's technical cooperation with Norway's Nel Asa will help speed its new energy projects, including creating green hydrogen, enabling billionaire Mukesh Ambani's transition to green energy. Reliance Rail recently signed a technology licensing agreement that grants the corporation an exclusive license for Nels alkaline electrolyzers in India and the ability to produce the Norwegian company's alkaline electrolyzers for captive purposes around the world. Major Radhika Sain, an Indian peacekeeper serving in the Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC, has been named the United Nations Military Gender Advocate of the Year for 2023. The renowned award honors her exceptional service and efforts to better local communities, particularly women and girls, throughout her tour of duty from March 2023 to April 2024. Serving with the UN peacekeeping mission MONUSCO as the commander of the engagement platoon for the Indian Rapid Deployment Battalion in Eastern DRC, Major Sain played a crucial role in establishing community alert networks. According to a copy of the letter acquired by AFP, Papua New Guinea alerted the United Nations on May 27 that more than 2,000 people had been buried in a large landslide that swept across a remote community. The landslide buried more than 2,000 people alive and caused major destruction, the country's National Disaster Center notified the United Nations office in Port Mosby. A once bustling remote hillside village in Enga province was almost wiped out when a chunk of Mount Mungalo collapsed in the early hours of morning, burying scores of homes and the people sleeping inside them.